Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cancel your Evernote subscription so that you're not making any more payments for Evernote. So what we're going to do first is log into your Evernote.com account and then we're going to open up your notebooks. And then on the top left hand side of the screen, we're going to click on your email address, which is your account and go to the drop down here. Then we're going to go to account info dot 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 and then click on that. Then we're going to be taken to the back end pages here. So you can see here that I have a subscription to Evernote Personal. This means that I'm not on the free tier and that I am actually paying for Evernote. And you can see here, if you manage subscription, that there's basically a cost associated with it. So basically in order to cancel your subscription, what we need to do is to click on the left sidebar here, click the billing section here. And then once we're in the billing section, we need to look at the very bottom of the page and then find the cancel your Evernote subscription, which should be at the bottom of billing. So I'm gonna click this now. So here it's telling us that if we cancel our plan, we're gonna lose some access to premium features. For example, the amount that we can upload each month will drop from 10 gigabytes to 60 megabytes. So we're gonna to scroll to the bottom of the page and we're gonna click continue to cancel, which is this white button here. So once we're on this last page, it's asking us what kind of feedback you'd like to provide. Personally, I found that Evernote has been a little bit slow and doesn't have as good a feature set as something called Notion. So I'm going to be switching to Notion so I don't really need anything else. Now I've selected a reason and I'm going to click cancel subscription. So now I've canceled my plan. This means that I still have Evernote Personal, the premium features, until the end of my billing cycle, which happens to be January the 4th, 2022 and then my account has not been deleted. However, it will continue as an Evernote free account. And the main difference between Evernote free and Evernote personal is the limit on the amount of data that you can upload at once. Here, I'm gonna press got it. And now this process is complete and I'll no longer be billed for Evernote. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I have other tutorials on note taking tools. For example, I switched over to Notion. You can find some tutorials on that on my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.